Hey, you've got a big on-camera interview coming up. Congratulations. What are you going to wear? Hey there, everyone. I'm Tiffany Burns, news anchor and reporter turned media coach. I've been helping clients one-on-one -on -one for years. Now I'm sharing my strategies right here on this channel with new videos every week. So you've got an on-camera interview coming up. Could be on TV, could be on YouTube. Either way, what an amazing opportunity. Let's make sure you look your best. The important thing to remember here is video is visual. You don't want how you look to distract from what you're saying because your number one goal for this interview is to get your message across. Before we even get into clothing, let's talk makeup and hair, starting with hair. And let me just say, if you're struggling with this one, I feel you. The number one thing I hate dealing with before I go on camera is my hair. So first thing to ask is, where is this interview taking place? If it's outside, wind is going to be a big consideration. You don't want your hair blowing around. You don't want to have to push it back to keep it off of your face. Touching your face or your hair or anything while you're on camera is a big no-no. Big distraction from what you're saying. Generally, make sure your hair is clean, nicely styled, and off your face. Not covering one eye, not causing a big shadow on your face, but as much as it may seem counterintuitive here, try to stick to your regular style because a TV interview is no time to start experimenting. In the makeup department, ladies, keep it conservative, but definitely wear a little. Lights can wash out features, so at the very least, wear some mascara and lipstick. And definitely wear some powder because these lights can make you shiny. Men too. If you're in that very nice situation, like at a TV studio where makeup is offered, don't turn it down. A little powder can go a long way to keeping down the shine, but also to absorbing sweat because when the adrenaline gets going, sometimes we can get a little sweaty. Now on to what you're going to wear. What do you wear to the office? Something professional, right? A blazer looks great on everyone, men and women, and it has the bonus of hiding sweaty pits. Yeah, we're talking sweat again, because that can happen when you're under the hot lights or you're feeling a little nervous, and if you're wearing a thin shirt, well, those sweaty pits could show. Necklines should be conservative for both men and women. A news interview is not the place for cleavage, nor is it the place for any fuzzy Magnum P.I. style chest hair. Now, just on a personal note here, I'm actually wearing what I would consider a don't. It's a flimsy shirt, so you can see how my lavalier microphone there is pulling down the neckline. And also, it's got these sort of stylish lacy arms, which I think look cute in real life. But um, I think in an on-camera situation, they might be a little distracting for some people. Some people might think it's a fashion don't, and they wouldn't be caught dead in it. And then meantime, their thoughts are kind of going away from what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm not going to wear this one again on camera. And I would say to my clients, no, nah, I don't wear something like this either. In the color department, people talk a lot about wearing colors that pop. Now I say, leave that to the news anchor because if you don't normally wear hot pink, then don't do it for the interview. Um, blue, though, is a nice color for everyone. It seems to really flatter uh, when it comes to making your eyes stand out a little more. Um, but for the most part, I tell people, wear something that you would wear to the office for an important meeting. If you're not that conservative a dresser at the office and your business wardrobe actually involves some crazy patterns, leave them at home. Don't wear them to the interview. Sometimes patterns can actually appear to move or vibrate on camera and best to go with solids for a TV interview. Also, keep your jewelry small and conservative. The biggest offender, dangly earrings. Every time you move your head or make a point, they're gonna move, distracting the viewer from what you're saying. Ultimately, the main thing to remember here is your message is what's most important. What you wear, whether it's your hair, makeup, clothing, or jewelry, that's just background, and it should stay that way. If it becomes a focus, then your message, what you're talking about, is no longer the main thing. 
Do you have an interview coming up? What are you going to wear? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Meanwhile, if you got value out of this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. I have lots more videos coming up every week right here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.